Is your engine just starting to rattle on startup? When you go to start your engine, does it brrrr for a few seconds and then it goes away? That's because oil pressure is not up in the places it's supposed to be. So the phasers aren't adjusting properly because they need oil pressure. VCTs need to open and control oil going to the phaser so they can maneuver properly. I'm going to show you in this video how to properly prime your system and stop that from happening if it's not too far gone if it's too far gone you're going to need some replacements of parts but uh watch this video and let me know what you think you know i just thought of something i'm leaving the dealership right now and i was like i have a vehicle right now i can demonstrate a theory of mine what if ford did a, a, just a little bit more of an elongated crank through their pcm programming and allowed oil pressure to get where it needed to before it actually let the injector start firing you could get oil pressure faster with a little bit, not faster, but you could get oil pressure to, to parts that are moving and phasers and stuff like that to actually put them in a position instead of waiting for pressure to build up on an immediate start. Maybe just by a few seconds it would work. And people would not really, it wouldn't be a bother to people because it's just a couple seconds and it would save their, their motor, especially in these cam phaser situations. I have a vehicle here we can try this on that is currently rattling really bad on startup and it's been sitting for two days so if I start this vehicle right now it's going to be super super bad. I'd like to try it with you guys and see if it actually works just as a theory to see what would happen. Let's find out. Let's go over here real quick. It's this Expedition with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Just so you guys know that I'm being honest with you, I'll flip over to the second page and actually show you the build. And then I'll actually show you Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to do an extended crank to get oil pressure where it needs to be, especially on these push to starts. Or you can do it on a regular vehicle just by holding the, th the, the gas down and cranking for a little while before you actually let go and start the vehicle. So here we go. We're going to push the brake and the gas at the same time. And then, let's go ahead and turn it on first, actually. Jeep you see, I got no oil pressure right now. So we're going to hold the brake and the gas all the way to the floor. And just hold the brake normal. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. Cancel. So here we go. Cranking, 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 cranking. Now I'm going to let go of the gas. I got oil pressure now. I didn't have oil pressure there for a while. Now watch what happens when I try to... Let's do one more oil pressure prime. Got oil pressure. Let go of the gas. No rattle. Zero. Zero rattle at all. I pre-primed the system. I held the brake. I held the gas down. I could have got by with just that first prime. This engine didn't rattle at all. Ford could fix this cam phaser rattle by allowing the system to prime and crank longer. And this engine rattles really, really loud. Just by priming the system first, that rattle went away. That's all I got to say about that, guys. They could simply program the PCM to just, just a couple extra seconds of cranking. Fire right up. Now, if you have a turnkey EcoBoost motor or forward motor, all you got to do is hold the gas down and crank with your key. Give it about five, six seconds. Let some oil pressure build up, maybe five, six, seven seconds. And then stop. Take your foot off of the gas because now you're, you're basically, you, you push the gas all the way down. Like, so let's pretend I have a key right here. 
keys in the ignition, I turn it forward, I hold the pedal down, and then I crank. Let go of the gas, let it start, fire right up. You basically were putting it in flood mode. You were trying to clear the system while you were cranking and holding the gas down at the same time. The throttle blade opens wide open to clear everything out. But at the same time, you're actually building oil pressure before starting the vehicle. So when you actually start the vehicle, no rattle, no chatter, no nothing. Ford could go to an extended crank just by a few seconds and fix this rattle on startup issue. They could. What do you guys think? All right, I'm going to show you on a my buddy's vehicle. He's been out of town for a little bit. And uh, so a few days I did some work on it. He's going to come back in. This is a key style. Look at my foot down here. Pushing the pedal to the floor, holding it, and watch this. Crank, 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 crank. Now let watch, watch me let go of the gas. Let go of the gas, start right up. I just primed the system. So I cranked for four or five seconds or so, you know. And then I let go of the gas while I was cranking. The vehicle fired right up. It gave it plenty of time for the for the oil pressure and everything to build up before it actually started and ran. That would solve so many problems for them if they got that oil pressure up there first before the vehicle ran. It's a lower RPM. It's not as disastrous on the system. While it's building up oil slowly and that residual film that's on everything will be able, to, it'll be sufficient enough to lubricate things as the good fresh oil is coming out of the pan and getting pulled up there. That would fix their problems. PCM reprogram for just a few seconds longer crank. Let oil pressure get where it needs to go and that rattle on startup would go away. As always, be blessed guys. I'm just trying to bring you good content. If you need anything at all, please let me know.